In the early 1900s, European powers took advantage of the crumbling Ottoman Empire and began to colonize Syria, Palestine and Iraq. During this chaotic period, the Syrian scholar known as Azuddin al-Qassam stood up to the French, British and Italian invaders. Al-Qassam graduated from the Islamic University of Al-Azhar in Egypt and was influenced by the ideas of reformers such as Jamaluddin al-Afghani, Muhammad Abdu and Abdul Rahman al-Kawakibi all of whom preached against political tyranny, social injustice, scientific backwardness and Western colonialism. In 1911, the Italians took advantage of the weak and decentralized Ottoman rule in North Africa and invaded Libya. Due to the lack of Ottoman troops in Libya, the job of resisting the Italian invaders was left to the local Bedouins who were led by the famous Omar al-Mukhtar. Izzuddin al-Qassam sold his house in order to buy weapons for freedom fighters in Libya who were fighting the Italian invaders. When the French invaded Syria in 1920, al-Qassam joined the Syrian resistance and fought a guerrilla war against the French in the mountains of Jabla. When the French crushed the Syrian resistance and captured Damascus, Al-Qassam fled to Palestine to the city of Haifa, where he began to preach at the Al-Istiqlal Mosque. Al-Qassam used his sermons to encourage people to rebel against the British and the French. He stated the following in one of his speeches. On my way to the mosque, I saw two young men with brooms sweeping the streets. Would it not be better if those brooms were guns so that they could fight the oppressors? I saw some people polishing the shoes of some Englishmen. Instead of cleaning their shoes, they should have killed them. When Palestine came under the British occupation in 1917, it was clear that the British came to implement the Zionist project and establish a national home for Jews in Palestine. The British invested all the powers of colonial rule and oppression to impose this reality. During British occupation, Zionist Jews had acquired about 4.5% of the land of Palestine. The British granted huge amounts of land to Jews for free. For example, British High Commissioner Sir Herbert Samuel, who is a Zionist Jew, granted 43,000 acres of Palestinian land to the Jews. The land which the Jews purchased themselves was bought mainly from wealthy Lebanese and Palestinian feudal landlords or from the corrupt Ottoman administration through public auctions in which the lands of Palestinian peasants who were unable to pay their taxes were sold. Many Palestinian leaders such as Haji Amin al-Husseini, 
Jamal al Husseini and Muhammad Darwaza collaborated with the British. But Azuddin al Qassam opposed them and their Zionist plans from the very start. The increasing Jewish presence in Palestine led to disputes and violent clashes between Jews and Palestinians. The British police only served to protect the interest of the Zionist Jews and ignored the problems of the Palestinians. In fact, when riots broke out, British officers would fire indiscriminately at Palestinian civilians. Furthermore, it was not long before the British began to train and arm Jewish settlers. After the al burakh revolution of 1929, the British publicly hanged 26 Palestinians. After these horrific executions, al Qassam initiated his resistance movement. Izzuddin al Qassam waged a guerrilla war against the British and Zionist Jews who had been armed and trained by the British. The British armed the Jewish forces with weapons used in World War I. Al Qassam initiated his resistance movement in secret and began to recruit Palestinian youths, farmers, and peasants who had lost their land. Soon Al Qassam began conducting attacks on British soldiers and Zionist militias. <laughs> Al Qassam reached out to King Faisal in Syria asking for his support in his revolution. But King Faisal ignored Al Qassam. Al Qassam also reached out to the prominent Palestinian mufti known as Haji Amin al Husseini. But Husseini refused to help and stated that he preferred a diplomatic solution. The only major financial supporter of Al Qassam's movement was Prince Rashid Al Khuzai of Transjordan. After Al Qassam and his group killed a high ranking British officer, the British made it their top priority to catch Al Qassam. After a 10 day manhunt, 400 British soldiers surrounded Al Qassam and nine of his followers in a cave. The British asked Al Qassam to surrender, but he refused. On 20th November 1935, Izzuddin Al Qassam was martyred, and his killing inspired the 1936 Palestinian Revolution.